Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 49 of our 7 Days to Die Darkness Fall series. Let's check the forge here. We're up to 72, still turning away. Got another month to go. Let's see, check on this. Our Magnum Coil Rounds finished up. That's good. We can go ahead and put you over here for now. Not going to use you just yet. Alright, so I did something that I think is going to make at least a few people kind of happy. I went through and got a bunch of stuff that I can sell out of my chest over there. Um, I'm a bit of a hoarder in this game. I, I'm aware of that, but it is what it is. I, so I went through my weapons chest over here, combined a few things so that they would be worth a little bit more value to repair them, scrapped down some things I didn't need. I still have some room to go. It's baby steps, y'all, baby steps. Um, I started going through this one, and I saw how much was in there and went, nope. And then I think on the armor and the clothes, I, I, I didn't touch that either. I need to just scrap most of that down. Oh, also, real quick, before we get too much further into it. I spent my three skill points. Let's see, which one's Scavenger? I went ahead and maxed out Lucky Looter because I need to be able to start finding some better gear um, than what I currently have. And I went down into Better Barter, and I put one more down here. Since I'm about ready to sell a bunch of stuff and hopefully buy some stuff from him if he's got anything useful, it would behoove me to make sure I'm getting the best bang for my buck, you know? It's day 49, so we've got six days left before the next horde starts. He still has a, um, a mission set up over here for us, I think. Uh, nope, can't do that one yet, unfortunately. All right, so we got to go do this one's the Triangle House. We've been in there before, but not a big deal. But now we need to take a little bit more time when it comes to doing our looting of these places, since we know we need lead, we need electrical parts, mechanical parts, all that sort of stuff. We're getting to that point where I need to spend more time looting. What are you doing? <laughs> are you being held at gunpoint and somebody like catch you right in the middle of frisking? I, I don't know. What the? I'll do business with you long as you're not a <laughs> He's like, I'm an airplane. Look, I can fly around. I don't know what's going on with you, sir, but you're kind of wigging out here. Okay, um, I'm going to sell some stuff to you. I need you to be cool, okay? <laughs> Let me sell all this real quick to him. All right, that took us almost up to 10,000. Let's see if he has anything in the secret stash that's just like, oh, you absolutely have to have that. Um, I, yeah, probably not, but, well, is there something else? yeah, I, you need to figure out what's going on with you and fix it. You and him over there. I, I guess maybe they were in the middle of a holdup. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not going to bother with them. So I don't have anything I can buy. I can buy more ammo right the moment. I'm okay. Uh, so yeah, I am saving my money. I did have like three full stacks of it and I spent most of it and I probably should have. I'm not going to lie. We're not working on this today. I don't want to. I want to go on an adventure. Since we have our looting up a little bit higher, I should probably put some more gasoline in this bad board before we start having to push it. Oh, well, look at that. There's stuff we need to sell and I don't have that much gas. Oh, hang on. We may be taking the bicycle. <laughs> Do I have any... I uh, have any gas in here. Did I? What are the odds I've picked up any shale anywhere that I could turn into gas or have any gas in here? Not really looking like it. Those are sharp stones. That's coal, which we can't use to burn. Okay. Well, 34 whole gallons, units, whatever that measurement is. I don't know. That's not going to get us very far. Uh, we can always take apart some cars, you know, that's a big thing. Alright, so how much did that, that didn't do much. We'll for sure pass by some cars on the way that I haven't taken apart yet. So uh, we'll, we'll stop and disassemble all of that. <laughs> Can't believe we're that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on before I venture off to you. How much? Uh, uh, let me get one of these in me real quick. No, oh yeah, I forgot you can't freaking eat while you're sitting on a bike for some reason. Let's see, that's plus 20, that's plus 2. Okay, these are identical. I'll just go ahead and use one of those. That'll get the food up a little bit. Okay, now we can go about our adventure. We'll see if we can find some cars. Hey, there's a cow. Since we looked all over the freaking neighborhood and the adjoining city trying to find vi uh, animals last time while we were trying to get all our hunting stuff up. All right, so I think I'm pretty certain I can disassemble the bus and get some from there. And there's a car right over there. Get the old wrench out here. All right. Oh, there's some cars right over here. We'll be, we'll just take all these apart, and that should give us here. But let me search this. Maybe there's something good in here. Who knows? Hello. Nice. Don't know why that's on the school bus. Not going to ask. All right. Let's take this apart real quick. Takes a long time to take apart a bus with a pipe wrench. But we got like 600 plus gallons of gas, or units, or whatever it is. You know what I mean. Let's take apart this. We'll get a little bit more. 
And I'm going to leave that one over there just for later purposes. Future Cap can deal with that one. That one won't take very long. Okay, so we got us like 1,200 random monetary units of gasoline here. Okay, let me go ahead and top you off and then put the rest back in there. Nice. Good to go. All right, so stuff like this will stack in there. Nice, we got another engine. That's cool. That's cool. Cloth spring. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And all of this, I'll just go ahead and put all you in there. I don't need you in my inventory right now. Anyway. Okay, now we got full tank of gas, and we're stuck on a piece of sidewalk, but it's okay. Now we can get over to this triangle house, and we can go through and loot it. Uh, we got to do a clear and retrieve supplies again, and we're getting a little bit higher up in the tiers as far as quest difficulty. So I believe this is the tier 3 still. We haven't got to the tier 4s yet. I know when we get to the tier 4s, he's probably going to want to send us to some of the big stuff, and then we'll be getting closer to him wanting us to go over to like the... Shamway Factory, the Shotgun HQ, or Shotgun Messiah HQ, that sort of thing. And when that happens, uh, yeah, oh, excuse me, I didn't see you there. When that happens, we're definitely going to be in for some rough days, man, because those places are just hell on earth and as high. What in the sweet hell is going on here? Hang on, real quick, I got what's going on with the... Why is everybody in a T-pose here? What the hell is going on? Okay, there's some there's some glitchiness going on right at the moment, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I have to say this is <laughs> this is kind of comical. I don't I don't know what's causing this, but here let me. Oh, okay, so he's all right. Um, I think it would probably behoove me real quick to log and relaunch it to see if that fixes it. So. <laughs> don't know what's going on but it's kind of interesting i almost want to continue playing like this just because if they're stuck in some fortnite pose can they actually hit me and do they actually walk no 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 we can't do that all right i'll be back in just a minute and we are back all right so the survivor she's walking around like normal so maybe that fixed whatever the problem i have no idea what happened i couldn't tell you but at least they're fixed right at the moment we'll see if it actually fixed the zombies we're not far off from the big triangle house I'm almost certain that we serve, uh, that we went through this little area once before. Don't even think about it, Chief. I will end all of your existence. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did do this house once before. We got this nice level driveway to get in here. Yeah, we did do this one before. Okay. Uh, I'm going to park my bike right over there. There's a deer. Checking to see if that survivor's coming. Yeah, because I remember we had a whole bunch of flaming dudes coming running up at us over here. It's been long enough since we've been over here that it's reset the loot. Okay. Cool. I'll look where you is. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take out a knee here. That was a anticlimactic fall, sir. Don't scream at me. Alright, let's take care of his buddy real quick. I wanna be able to check some stuff out here without having to worry about these idiots coming up behind me. Oh, that was that was a little bit better. Whoops, we missed. There we go. Oh, sweet. Pooped out a bag. That's something else by increasing the lucky looter thing. Oh, we got this crappy purple here. <laughs> you can all go tell him I said that, too. Just go leave a comment on his video and say, Hey, Cap said your color purple in Darkness Falls is stupid. <laughs> We're friends. It's okay. A little friendly trash talk between gamers is always cool. I'll search the garage. I'm not going to do a full loot through this house and then reset it. I just don't want to. Okay, let's uh, let's do. I'm gonna stand right over here to the side, so hopefully, I don't get exploded. Ooh, it's a cop car that's had the wheels jacked. Okay, there's some weird stuff going on in this game today. I don't. Please don't blow up. I don't want to die by an accident. Uh, that stuff. I don't need the. I'm gonna scrap those. Can I do anything with you? I guess I'll just take the ammo. Ooh, I will go ahead and get this cobblestone. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, there's something I, I did want to say real quick. I've had some people mentioning because when I run into a house like this that I'm going into now, I don't typically like shut the doors behind me. And there's a reason why. And that's mostly because, yes, it does allow the opportunity for zombies to come in from outside and wander in behind me. But if I get inside, ow. And things go tits up and they start sprinting at me and, you know, I, I don't get myself cornered that way. I can get out easier. I can run back outside where I have a little bit more room to move around. So, 
For anybody wondering why I don't shut the doors behind me, there's your answer. All right, so we got some things in here we can take apart. Then let's get all this real quick. All right, got all the crap there. I hear one more person sauntering around. There he is up there. We're, we're just going to have to deal with some of those. But if I can keep them from wandering in right behind me, you know, up the same hole that I'm about to jump down, that would be nice. Especially these idiots that have fallen behind me and set me on fire or something stupid. Dude, I, I see you over there eyeballing the bike. I know it's sweet. It's a little bit slow, but you still can't have it. So you just mind your business. All right, let's uh, switch over to something with bullets just in case. Check your surroundings. Okay, your surroundings aren't much right at the moment. Let's ease through here. Yes, I did go through this once before. No, I don't remember what's down here. There's some stalagmites blocking the path. Let me over. What the? Huh? Hang on. What? What? What is this? What, what do I have? Animal tracker. I found animal tracks. Did I accidentally... In oh, it's because of the hunter class, isn't it? Because I finished that. Hang on. Where, where is that at? Hunter? Hunter. Gain the ability to track animals when crouched. Oh, cool. I've never actually used that before. That's pretty sweet. Let me in. Let's clear out this little area first. We'll worry about hunting animals down via their... Oh, that's so cool. Check it out. Hey, what the heck? Lady, I'm trying to admire a deer. Can you be nice... Did you have a candle? Why do you have a candle on you? Why do you have a candle stick on you and no candle? Rude. All right, well, let me see here. I think we got some people coming in behind us. Let's double check. I don't think they can get past the stalagmites too, so we should be okay to clear some of this area out. If anybody comes running up at me, I can quickly switch over. I hear them up above me. Get all this cobblestone, we're going to need it when we get ready to repair and update the base a little bit. Come on, something good. I'm, I'm really hoping that by having our scavenging skill up higher and our looting skill all the way up and all that stuff, that we will finally start finding some stuff that doesn't suck, you know? That's the hope and the dream. Uh, doors. Oh, that's not bad. Rawr. Okay, uh, I do want to take apart the electrical box here because we get electrical parts for it and we're going to need all of those. I'm trying to be as thorough as possible. I know in the past I may or may not have spent the necessary time gathering stuff down. It's okay. I feel like I'm doing better this time. There's a lot going out there, but I don't think they can get in here with me. So let's see. Go ahead and grab this because it's plastic and paper. We're going to need that. Anything up top? Nope. More plastic here. Uh-oh. 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 Bad monkey! You're a bad monkey. And look who you brought with you. Are you dead? Alright, anybody over here with you? Cool. Alright, we're clear for a half a second. I can do some looting without worrying about getting hit in the back. I really shouldn't say stuff like that. Let me in the backpack. Let me have it. Give it here. Right, there we go. Uh, flashlight. I can scrap you down. I'm pretty sure I get electrical parts for that. Destroyed workbench. Ooh. A 59 steel axe versus this one's a 55. Dang it. It's too bad this is destroyed. I could combine the two and repair them. That would just be freaking fantastic. But no, that'd be convenient too. All right. Let me get... Are we cool for a second? All right. Let me grab all this stuff real quick. I'm going to try my best to get as much as possible. I, I promise you guys. Because I know how much I need it now. The... I need a lot of lead, too. I'm going to have to go form myself a lead digging mine, kind of like I have for the steel over there at some point. All right, so I think that's everything that's in this little section. Make sure you're reloaded. Well, we didn't get the sneak shot on her because she woke up. <laughs> Just ruined your whole cardio. Oh, right up Main Street. I almost feel bad. Come here. Nice. That whole making them drop bags a little bit more often seems to be panning out. Hey, she's got a... Okay, so they're maybe they were robbing this place and I accidentally interrupted. I mean, so far we've seen a lady carrying a candlestick and she's carrying a trophy. So it's like I interrupted them just 
grabbing what they thought was going to be valuable. I, I don't know. I'll tell you what, here I'll leave you some glass in that broken jar. How about an empty? How about an empty jar? How's that for you? Uh, that I should take apart. The workbench I should go back and take apart. This may be. This is one of the reasons. I'll go ahead and tell you guys right now. One reason why I don't spend a tremendous amount of time disassembling absolutely everything is just to keep the pace of the video going. Because to sit and spend the time to break apart stuff like this, yes, it's 100% worth it. Highly recommended. But when you're trying to do an entertaining video, you you lose people if you're just going to sit in one room and take apart everything that's not nailed down. So, ooh, nice airdrop. Uh, let me guess, nowhere near... Oh, sweet! We will go get that. Not right this second, but here in just a little bit. Alright, need to bust out the handy dandy lockpick. That's pretty handy. Anybody in the laundry basket? What are you, nerdy glasses? We can sell them. And a t-shirt? I'll take it. Alright, is there anything else in the watching machine? Cloth? Sure, why not? Wait, did I accidentally... Oh, I thought I picked. I thought I saw when I was browsing through here. I actually picked back up the stuff that I had just left behind, like the broken glass. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. What do we think's on that side? Oh, it's just coal. Okay. He's not too much of a bother. Uh, let's switch back over to a little bit more on the silenced range of things. Watch out for the noise trap. I think last time there was an a-hole hiding right over here. Yep. Hey, it's Gary. What's up, Gary? Let me shoot you in the butt talks. Whoops. That was just bad. That was just bad shooting. I'm not even going to act like it wasn't. Is there anybody in there with you? Sounds like there's a bunch of coals going on out there. Sweet. Something really good. Or maybe not. Okay, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and eat another one of these. Keep the food up. Keep the water up. Nothing else up in here. Wait. Nope. Nothing up there. And nothing up there. Okay. Make sure there's nobody hanging out around the corner real quick before I go all looty. Just in case. I don't want to be right in the middle of trying to make some coffee. Holy crap. They actually made me coffee. Well, I'll be damned. Thank you to whoever owns this place for making coffee. It's like maybe they knew I was here or something. Uh, don't. There might be somebody in that one. I put it, by the way, in case you can't tell, I put a uh, flaming mod on this axe so I can see what's going on. That way, when I hit the zombies with a flying axe here, I can. Uh, Possibly catch them on fire. Yes, I know this is not the most efficient way to do it, but how often do you get to kill a military soldier with an axe? I mean, come on, that's pretty fun. Can of sham? Well, if nothing else, a little bit of sham, some broth, or stock, I should say, and a empty bowl, and you can make some sham chowder, or sham soup, which is what we have right up in here. Cook sham soup. See, that's pretty decent, 20 and 10. All right, you had anything? You are. A crappy shirt. It's got some dye in it, so not a big deal. Alright, well, let's run back through the kitchen, see if there's anything we didn't get. Because there's a lot of stuff we didn't get. Ooh, lead. Nice. Uh, okay, so I definitely need to go in there, but we'll search the kitchen first. Is it just me, or does it sound like there's a small meeting coming in here? Is that everybody? Hello? Can y'all freaking stop now with the noise? Jeez, man. I'm trying to do something. Alright, I think I got everything in the kitchen. Uh, let's see. Did I... Uh, coffee? Okay, you can get rid of. You can scrap. I have an iron door at the house. I, I don't know what I could use that for as far as, like, if I could somehow implement that onto the base or something. The, um... Uh, Oop, hang on, let's let's see if we can't do this. Uh oh, gotta reload. Hey, back up. Hang on. Pause, time out. Stupid. Oh 
You just got nutshotted to death. Did you like it? That's what you get for hitting me. I wasn't ready. I said timeout. I mean, did you ever played any kind of game before? Jeez. Rude. What do we have here? Sniper rifle receiver, ammo, wooden bow I could sell, and arrows I can scrap, and I'll take the rest of those. Come on, something, something. Oh, I know for a fact that I can just scrap that. We have encountered that particular schematic many, many times, and I don't want it anymore. That's yucky. All right, let's see where we are here. So we still got to clear the area. We haven't even started going upstairs yet, so did I get you? I did get you. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm glad you didn't lunge out and hit me. That would have been bad for you. All right, so that's the front door. How about we switch over something that's a little bit less bright while we tiptoe up here? That's a noise trap. Let's see if we can get rid of this real quick. Oh, you know somebody's hiding in that closet. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta do it. Yeah, that's gotta happen. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not, but whatever. Grenades! Hey, Sarge actually had something useful on him. I would definitely... I uh, don't need that. I can just scrap that. Empty jars. I'll just take it with me. Okay. Lights on. Anybody in here? Make sure I'm reloaded. There's probably somebody in there. Sweet, sweet. They're definitely dropping a lot more loot. Lock picks and four whole monies. That's good. Holy crap. Two even uh, helmets here. That's not too bad. Uh, purple shirt. I can just throw that in the trash. Fort bites. The damage mitigation is really nice on there. Lowers the water quite a bit, but it's not too bad. You know what? I'll just go ahead and take those. I've got, like, water everywhere here, and that didn't even do anything to my water. So I've got bonus damage mitigation. Didn't even take any of the penalty for it. Sweet. like to see y'all try and hit me now. Gently now. Butchering tool schematic, I think, is full. I'll double check just to make sure it's all the way full. I'm almost certain it is. Butchering tool schematic. Okay, so it is all the way full. full. I just don't have the rest of the stuff here for that. So I can scrap this book down. I'll worry about getting the die and stuff out of that here in a little bit. Anything else in here? Nope, nope. That door is locked. That door is blocked. Did I get you? I did. Knock, knock. Alright, we got a flashlight guide in the way. Check your corners. Check your ceiling. All good in the hood. Keep an eye out for stupid birds, because I see a nest. Go ahead and reload before these idiots have a chance to show up. Hide anything in the trash? Nice! Lock picks and trophies again. And I'm not taking the feathers. I don't need them. I have plenty of feathers at home. Are you hiding any bullets? Nope, just a nice big floater. That's disgusting. You people need to learn how to flush. And there's probably nothing here besides some nasty, yucky stuff too, but... <laughs> I scrolled and clicked too fast, so it still registered as having the gun in my hand. So instead of switching over to the lockpick and uh, <laughs> stuff, no, I decided to just shoot several holes in the door because that makes sense. I got a noise trap. Wait, what? Okay, we got a noise trap there. See if we can't ease around the corner here. I hit the noise trap. Oh, yeah. Are you a bad one? Yep, yeah, you're a bad one. Here's Sid. Back up, lady. Back up. We aren't friends. Whoa, what were you doing to her, huh? Okay. Brittany? You brought this upon you. you. brought this upon yourself, lady. I was kind of sort of minding my own business, and you came running up at me. <laughs> Not cool. Not cool. You know better than that. That's a decent bat and some cash. I had nothing else. I can sell it. All right, let's double check, make sure there's nobody else asleep over here. I think this is main loot area. And the area is cleared, so we just got to get the supplies, which is downstairs. Of course it is, but we'll go ahead and finish looting this whole area. Something good, something real good. Can sell it, can sell it. Military gloves, military leg armor. Hey, you know, 
We've been discussing the notion of going to military gear. It's light armor, so it doesn't provide as much protection, but it also doesn't... I mean, it also helps out with stealthiness and sneaking abilities and that sort of stuff. So, it might not be a terrible thing to get, you know? Poncho! Empty jars, and that's about it in here. So, let me go ahead and break these down real quick. All right, I think that's everything in here that's of value to break down. Let me double check, make sure there's nothing on top. Nope. All right, so we need to get back downstairs and find the thingy it wants us to get. Okay, so... Like, through this wall somewhere? Oh, literally right there. Okay. And we got it. So now we just need to get up out of here. Get back to our bicycle and pedal our happy butt home. Uh, let's do this. Jump on the floating truck, or car, whatever this vehicle's called. Switch over to our pistol so we can drive a little bit. Uh, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and get this airdrop real quick. Because it's not on the way at all, but it's at least somewhere kind of close. We're already encumbered. If nothing else, we're going to the trade room anyway. So maybe we can get some stuff that's worth selling. So we're going to go over and check. No, you're not. Well, you might if I stop and look at the map. <laughs> I could just picture him going, get you, get you. You know, like tickling me. I don't know why, but... It, when they scream, I'm going to get you. I don't picture them coming up and hurting me. I come, I picture them come up and, like, goosing me, you know? <laughs> don't grab my butt, man. All right, so that's the way we need to go. Airdrop is this way. If we circle up around here, not too far this way. Good. I hope we get something really good. We've had some pretty good luck when it comes to the airdrops. I think that's how we got our first sledgy, which we have a couple of them now. Whee! Right into a tree. Nicely done there, crew. Uh, but yeah, we've gotten a bunch of different things. I would really like to be able to use uh, Junkie to go along with that. But my robotic skill is only such that I can only use one at a time. So if I switch over, if I put Junkie down, Sledgy stops working. I can put the battery-powered Sledgies, or Junkies down. You know, actual turrets and stuff. But uh, yeah, they, they don't, they're not the same. Come on, something good. Another bat, plastic parts, food products, and forged iron. That's not terrible. I can sell the bats. I'm not going to use those myself. But tiny, tiny little bit of a drive home. I don't think we've been gone long enough for it to finish making all of the forged steel we have to be able to make the um, advanced forge. That's where we need to get to next so that when we do start trying to make all of this other crap, weapons, or not weapons, but bullet casings and bullet tips and all those it doesn't take as much supplies to do so that way we are gathering stuff still but we're not having to completely deplete our uh, inventory you know we use about half of it here so anyway let me stop flapping my word hole and let's just get home real quick all right nice popped a wheelie Let's see what I have in here that I could sell. Uh, probably quite a bit of stuff, actually. Like, all of this stuff I was taking with me to be able to sell anyway, except for that I need, that I can sell. And all the rest of this stuff I'll hang on to. I'm very much encumbered, but it's okay. I'll just saunter over here slowly. I should probably reload. See how much we can sell. Maybe he'll give us something really good. We don't have our charismatic nature up too high. Wait, that might be the bartering thing. Um... I don't remember what skill it is that makes it so that your rewards are better for doing quests. Are you friendly? <laughs> you have no idea, sir. You must think you're pretty hot shit now. Wow. Yeah, we just kind of so ran all the way to 10 on that one, didn't we? Military leg armor. If I was going to switch to military leg armor, I already have some that are better. I'll take the mod because I have several of these and I can sell them to you. This is not as good as the one I have on. So I'm just going to take that. Okay. Now I need to sell a bunch, a bunch of stuff to you. So be prepared to just fork over a bunch of cash. Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, we cleared up a little bit of space in our inventory. We're not encumbered anymore, fortunately. But uh, we got a bunch of crap here. I need to get all the rest of the dies out of these and then I can just scrap them. Those aren't worth selling. But I almost back up to a full stack here. So that's good. And, yeah, I really wish he had something that, you know, usually I skip this part of the video. I just, kinda, when I kind of, like, skip to where I'm doing my own thing, you know, I'm, like, done browsing. I sit here and just stare at it so you guys aren't listening to me breathe into the microphone. But he doesn't have anything. You best be on your way. All right, I'm going to go back and drop off the rest of my stuff. 
See, I, I'm not going to worry about getting a job from him just yet. Day 50, we should probably start working on trying to get some of this done. What I need to do first, and oh, it's going to hurt to even start it, is I need to like dig underneath this so it'll just collapse. Because if I have to sit here and beat down on this, like that's, that's going to take a while. But if I dig up underneath it, it can fall on its own accord. It's going to hurt me to watch it. That's going to hurt a whole lot, and it's going to lose a lot of supplies and stuff for doing that. But it'll save me a whole bunch of time, so I need to just dig it up. And then I can put blocks down underneath it so that there's um, space in the ground. So I need to dig it up anyway, but oh, that's going to suck. I don't even want to think about it. How much concrete did we end up finishing up with? That's a decent stack. We got a full stack. That's not too bad. Full stack and 65 more and a ton of rocks. And we got... Wait, hold on. I I just picked up some cobblestone. Wait, didn't mean to do that. Put you right up there so I know where you are. Cement puts... Nice. I have to be able to do some more. I have to make some more crushed sand before I can. Cool. 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 All right. Let's see where this is at. It actually finished. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's grab what we need out of this real quick. This one that'll put us up to the 250 we need. Sweet. All right. So for an advanced forge... We have to make it on the workbench, right? Workstation. Metal workstation. We need to have forged steel. Got it. Electrical parts. I uh, need three more pipes. Uh, actually, hang on. Pipes. I have... Yeah, I need to get electrical parts, pipes, a car battery, and a brass radiator. Did I swear I had a radiator on me? Maybe I got rid of it. Okay. Radiator. Where are you? There you are. Okay, now I can make it. This one's going to take all night to do, but we need it. An advanced forge, bam, 23 and a half minutes to be able to finish this one. I think I'm going to have to get rid of my big screen TV. I hate to. It looks nice. You know, we got the guys come over on the weekends, and that's the wrong tool. And, you know, watch the game and have some beer, that sort of things. But I, I, need, I need it right here. And, well, I need to upgrade the wall behind it, too. So, whoops. What did you do? That's not where I told you to swing. I mean, it may be, but that you need to know what I'm thinking and not what I'm doing. Oh, goody. So basically, we're just kind of waiting for the advanced forge to be able to finish cooking to put this over here. And I do still need to spend the time to empty my inventory. Go ahead and get a little bit from that. Oh, that hurt to do that. Let's see, I can put you down right there. I can get my wood hammer here in just a second and fix... Oh, wait, there's two parts to this. All right, well, TV is gone. Y'all will have to invite me over to your house to watch the game from now on. All right, we got space for we got space for things now. Let me real quick. I where is my put you right here, just so I can say I'm done with it. Put you upgrade you repair you. I need to rep I'm trying to upgrade the block behind you. I'm not trying to use your four. Let me upgrade this right there. You're not going to let me do it? Okay, fine. Fine. I don't know how big the advantage forge is. I may end up having to move this over a spot. and Or, you know, if nothing else, I can always, like, knock down this wall and square it off so that there's a little bit more room. We'll see when it's done. But that right there looks like a good spot for the forge. I can have both of them running side by side. Anyway, let me put some stuff up that I don't have to have on me anymore. All right, good to go. We're almost to another level, which would be fantastic. But before I spend that extra point on pretty much anything right now. Oh, also, I don't know why. And I'm going to make sure to just leave the camera right here for a second here. I had a fair number of people telling me, hey, Cap, you need to make a writing desk before you worry about trying to make any of the master class thing. I literally had one here for like, I don't know, 30 something days now. I, I I get maybe you just kind of missed it in the video or something, but I've literally been making books here for a little while. So if it was one of those you just kind of missed it and you didn't see it, I fully understand it happens. But I promise I have one. And I also have a uh, tailoring bench over here too that I haven't made anything in a while. Oh, hang on. Okay, that reminds me. Somebody told me not only with the military gear, but with rigging. Tactical rigging. I needed to make... Like, what's, what does this do? I can make it now. Some basic net increases carry capacity. Used on chest armor. Ooh. What do I need to make you? Generic schematics, leather, duct tape, and military fiber. 
Oh, nice. I can't make advanced rigging. But basic rigging, that would open up some inventory. It'd be one less thing to have to deal with. Okay, generic schematics, leather, duct tape, and military fiber. Where am I at on that? Generic. Okay, good on that leather. I got plenty of military fiber. I've only got seven of. How many do I need? Ten. Can I craft this? I need yay science or military fiber schematic. Well, balls. He might have some to buy over there. I don't remember. Uh, we, we have a, How much cash do we have on this? You know what? I'll go check to see if he has any military fiber on him. It would be nice to have that advanced or that rigging basically at all. And I really want to get to where eventually I'll have a bigger backpack. But I'm pretty sure I have to have my scavenger level uh, master on that one too. It's like I need to have mechanic at level master so I can make an oil pump. I need to have scavenger at master so I can make something else. Alright, what do you have as far as resource? Science, resource, military fiber. Um, I need... You know what? I think I have... I'll buy that many. 13. There we go. Time to move on. Time to move on indeed. All right, that should be able to do it. I think I'm going to make one of those tonight. Uh, let me see. Do I have room on my chest armor? I may have to remove one of these. We'll see. I'm not sure. It's only a level 24, so I can't hold very many mods. But I'd be willing to give up a muffle connector to be able to put a rigging on there and get a little bit more space in my carrying. Because I'm always right on the cusp of like 2, 3 over on encumbrance, and I'm about tired of that. Let me see. All right, let me get all the stuff I need from here again. Okay, got everything we need there. Can make it over here on the workbench. Basic rigging. Wait, tactical rigging. It's highlight. Oh, okay, it's highlighted, but I can't actually make it yet. That would definitely be nice. Uh, you know what? Hang on. What? What? Science crafting. Let me look real quick and see under. Science crafting. Where do we? Is that going to be down here? Oh yeah, I got to use two skill points for this one, and I'd be a level eighty for that. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and make with what I can here. We'll just start with this. Going to take a little bit to do that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're basically just going to kind of hang out and wait for things to finish being made, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up here, but. Hope you found it entertaining. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Good, there we set.